Javier Adama Zanetti is an Argentine former footballer. He played most of his career for the Italian Serie A club Internazionale, from 1995 to 2014, and served as their captain from 1999, earning him the nickname Il Capitano. Known for his versatility, he was adept on both the left and right wing, having played on both flanks as a full-back, as well as a winger. He could also play as a defensive or central midfielder. On retiring, the club retired his number four jersey and named him as vice president. Known as Pupai in Argentina, Zanetti was born in Buenos Aires, picking up the nickname El Tractor soon after his move to Italy where his strength, resilience, stamina, and his ability to run past opposing defenders when joining the attack from his right-back position earned him reverence. Zanetti won honours including five Serie A and four Coppa Italia titles with Inter the 2010 UEFA Champions League final on May 22, 2010 was Zanetti's 700th game with Inter, and the team's victory on the night made him the only captain to win a treble with an Italian club. Internationally, he holds the record of the most capped player in the history of the Argentine national team and played in the 1996 Olympic tournament. Five Copa Arma Copyright Rica tournaments and two World Cups, in 1998 and 2002. As of the 2011 Euro 12 season, he is the only non Italian player to captain a Serie A team. He holds the record for the highest all time appearances by a non Italian born player for an Italian club, and his 858 official matches for the club put him first in Inter's all time appearances list. He is also noted for his charity work running a foundation to benefit disadvantaged children in Argentina. He has been named an ambassador for the SOS Children's Villages Project in Argentina by FIFA, and in 2005, he received the Ambrogino Doro Award from the Milan Town Hall for his social initiative. Zanetti is also a global ambassador for Special Olympics. Early life Javier Adama Zanetti was born in Buenos Aires to working-class parents and grew up in the harbour area in the Doxar district one of the city's most notorious areas. His father Rodolfo was a bricklayer and his mother Violeta Bunizola was a cleaner. He began playing football on a field in the city suburbs, maintaining the pitch in his spare time. When he was a teenager, he tried out for local Giants Independence Youth Academy but was ultimately rejected and told that he lacked the physique to succeed in the game. Instead, he concentrated on school and worked as an assistant to his father with masonry as well as odd jobs such as delivering milk and helping out at a relative's grocery store. Club career, Taller's RE. After his rejection from Independient, Zanetti signed for Taller's de Remedios de Escalada, then a second division team. With them, he played 33 matches and scored one goal in his only season, before moving in 1993 to the first division club Banfield. Banfield, a 20-year-old Zanetti debuted for Banfield on September 12, 1993 in a home match against River Plate. He scored his first goal 17 days later against Newell's Old Boys in a match that ended 1 a Euro 1. His outstanding performances for Banfield gained popularity from El Taladro fans and also earned him a call-up from the national team. First Division Giants River Plate and Boca Juniors displayed interest but Zanetti decided to stay on for another year at the club. In 1995, along with fellow Argentine Sebastia N. Rambert, he transferred to Italy's Inter Milan, becoming team owner Massimo Moritti's first ever purchase. Inter. As a part of the squad for 19 seasons and with 858 appearances across all competitions, he is currently the team's longest tenured player, and the first overall a Euro surpassing Giuseppe Bergami a Euro in the all time list of Inter players by most games played. Throughout his stay with the club, he won 16 trophies, 15 of which came under his captaincy at the UEFA Cup in 1998, the 2005, 2006, 2010 and 2011 Coppa Italia, the 2005, 2006, 2008 and 2010 Supercoppa Italiana, the 2005 a Euro 06, 2006 a Euro 07, 2007 a Euro 08, 2008 a Euro 09 and 2009 a Euro 10 Scudetti and the 2009 a Euro 10 UEFA Champions League. Zanetti went 12 years without being sent off in a match. 
The first time he was sent off in his career was on February 17, 1999 in a Coppa Italia match against Parma, but he broke his streak when he was sent off in a Serie A match against Udinese on December 3, 2011. These were the only two times he was sent off during his entire career at Inter. At Inter, Zanetti had 19 different coaches, making him the only player to have played under this many coaches. He has pledged his future to the Nerazzeri, hoping to have a future behind the desk at the club in his retirement from playing. Inter means a lot to me, Zanetti said. Early career, Zanetti made his debut for Inter on August 27, 1995 against Vicenza in Milan. He scored in Tours' second goal in their 3 0 0 win over compatriots Lazio in the 1998 UEFA Cup final at the Parc des Princes in Paris, his first silverware at the club. On August 29, 1999, he was rewarded with the club captaincy, taking over from legendary defender Giuseppe Bergami. It was later revealed that Zanetti was on the verge of signing for Real Madrid before being handed the captain's armband. Moved to midfield, after the arrival of Macon at the beginning of the 2006 Euro 07 season, Zanetti was moved from the right back position into midfield. He ended a four year goal drought when he scored on November 5, 2006, at a home match against Ascoli, having previously scored on November 6, 2002, at an away match against Empoli. On September 27, 2006, against Bayern Munich, Zanetti played his 500th professional match for Inter and on November 22, 2006, he appeared in his 100th UEFA match against Sporting Club de Portugal. He celebrated his 600th match for Inter on September 24, 2008 with a 1-0 win over newly promoted Lex. Minutes before the match, he was presented with a commemorative plate by former vice-captain Ivo N. Carcubedo-Doba to mark the special occasion. Though Zanetti is more often classified as a defender, he played mostly in midfield during the first half of the 2008-09 season. For the last several weeks of October 2008, with Portuguese coach José Copyright Moreno facing a midfield crisis due to injuries to key midfielders Esteban Cambiasso and Sully Montari, he was moved again to the midfield for the matches against Genoa and Fiorentina. During that period, Moreno played him in the midfield due to the presence of Macon, La Caio, Walter Samuel, and Christian Shivu in the back four. The 2009 Euro 10 season began well for Zanetti and Inter, especially after a 4 Euro 0 thrashing of crosstown rivals Milan in the Derby della Madonnina. In the match against Genoa on October 17, he started off the counter attack that led to Inter's second goal after dispossessing a Genoa player. Inter became the first team of the season to win by a five goal margin. On October 24, he reached Giacinto Facchetti's record of 476 Serie A appearances when he turned out for the match against Catania, which ended in a 2 Euro 1 win for the Nerazzeri. He also currently holds a club record of 149 consecutive appearances. Inter won the 2010 Champions League final to a Euro 0 against Bayern Munich on May 22, 2010. This was Zanetti's 700th appearance for Inter, and it made him the first player to captain an Italian club to a treble of the Scudetto, Coppa Italia and Champions League. Later career, on October 20, 2010, at 37 years and 71 days, Zanetti became the oldest player to score in the Champions League when he netted in the opening minute of Inter's 4 Euro 3 group stage win over Tottenham Hotspur at the Giuseppe Meza. This was only his second ever Champions League goal. His first came in December 1998 in a match in a 2 Euro win against Storm Graz. He scored one of Inter's goals in their 3 Euro 0 win against Songna Mylhwa Chumma at the 2010 FIFA Club World Cup which they eventually won. On January 19, 2011, Zanetti overtook into legend Giuseppe Bergami in Serie A appearances, his 520th match in Serie A, all for Inter. On May 11, 2011, Zanetti made his 1,000th appearance as a professional footballer playing for Inter against Roma in the second leg of the Coppa Italia semi-final. On September 20, 2011, Javier Zanetti made the all-time appearance record in a Serie A clash against Nova, surpassing Giuseppe Bergami.
On March 10, 2013, Zanetti played in his 600th Serie A match for Inter, a 1 0 0 loss to Bologna at the Giuseppe Meza. On April 29, 2014, Inter's president Eric Zahir announced that Zanetti would retire at the end of the 2013 Euro 14 season and become a club director. Zanetti's last competitive match at the San Siro was a 4 Euro 1 victory over Lazio on May 10, 2014. He came on as a substitute for Jonathan in the 52nd minute and wore a special armband featuring the names of every player he had played with during his career at Inter. He retired after the last game of the season which he started as centre-back in a 2 Euro 1 away defeat to Chivo on May 18. In June 2014, Inter retired Zanetti's number 4 jersey and appointed him vice-president for the next two years. International career Zanetti debuted for Argentina on November 16, 1994 against Chile under coach Daniel Passarella. He has since represented his country at the 1998 and 2002 FIFA World Cups. He was also part of the team that won the silver medal at the 1996 Summer Olympics in Atlanta, USA. In the 1998 World Cup run, he neatly finished off a Juan Sebastián Enverra cubed end free kick in the round of 16 match against England making the score to a Euro 2. Argentina went on to win for a Euro 3 on penalties but lost the quarter-final match to the Netherlands. Zanetti played for Marcelo Bielsa's Argentine national team in the 2002 World Cup. However, they finished third in their group, despite winning the opening match. Zanetti celebrated his 100th cap by helping Argentina win their 2005 FIFA Confederations Cup semi-final over Mexico on June 26, 2005, in which he won the Man of the Match award. After having been part of the team during the qualification rounds, Zanetti was not called up for the 2006 FIFA World Cup by coach Jose Copyright Peckerman in a controversial decision. Instead, Lionel Scalini was given a surprise selection, a move that bewildered many fans and media. With new coach Alfio Basile, Zanetti was called for a friendly match against France on February 7, 2007. He played brilliantly and helped Javier Saviola to score the only goal of the game that gave Argentina the first victory under Basile's second management. That same year, Zanetti was vice-captain of the Argentine squad for the Copa Arma Copyright Rica 2007, having previously appeared in the 1995, 1999 and the 2004 editions of the tournament. In April 2007, Zanetti was presented with the National Giuseppe Prisco Award. After the retirement of Roberto Ayala, Zanetti was given the captain's armband. In a World Cup qualification match against Bolivia on November 17, 2007, he became the most capped player ever for Argentina. Zanetti remained a regular under new coach Diego Maradona, although defensive midfielder Javier Mascherano took over as captain at Maradona's request. Despite winning the Champions League at club level, Zanetti and his Inter teammate Esteban Cambiasso were not included in the Argentina squad for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. This move was heavily criticized by football pundits from both South America and Europe. Instead 30-year-old Ariel Garca Copyright, who had been called up just twice in the previous five years, received a shocking selection, but ultimately did not play a single minute in any World Cup match. Zanetti's place in the starting lineup was taken by Jonah S. Gusha copywriter R.E.Z., who had spent the previous season playing on the wing for Newcastle United in England's second tier Football League Championship. On August 20, 2010, Argentina national team coach Sergio Batista recalled Javier Zanetti to the squad for a friendly against Spain played on September 7, 2010, at the River Plate Monumental Stadium where he and fellow legend Gabriel Batistuta were honoured by the Argentine Football Association for their outstanding careers with more than 48,000 people giving them a standing ovation. He was called again for the friendly against Japan in Saitama of October 2010 but withdrew at the last minute due to injury. He was a member of Argentina's squad for the 2011 Copa Arma Copyright Rica, starting in all four of the team's matches. Career Statistics, Club as of May 17, 2014. One continental competitions include the UEFA Champions League and UEFA Cup. Two other tournaments include the Serie A Playoff, Supercoppa Italiana, 
UEFA Super Cup and FIFA Club World Cup, International. Competition Statistics, Serie A, 615 appearances, 12 goals, Coppa Italia, 70 appearances, 3 goals, Super Coppa Italiana, 7 appearances, UEFA Champions League, 105 appearances, 2 goals, UEFA Cup, 53 appearances, 3 goals, FIFA Club World Cup, 2 appearances, 1 goal, FIFA World Cup, 8 appearances, 1 goal, FIFA Confederations Cup, 8 appearances, Copa Arma Copyright Rica, 22 appearances, Honours, Inter, Serie A, 2005 a Euro 06, 2006 a Euro 07, 2007 a Euro 08, 2008 a Euro 09, 2009 a Euro 10, Coppa Italia, 2004 a Euro 05, 2005 a Euro 06, 2009 a Euro 10, 2010 a Euro 11, Super Coppa Italiana, 2005, 2006, 2008, 2010, UEFA Champions League, 2009 a Euro 10, UEFA Cup, 1997 a Euro 98, FIFA Club World Cup, 2010, Argentina, Copa America Silver, 2004, 2007, FIFA Confederations Cup Silver, 1995, 2005, Olympic Games Silver, 1996, Pan American Games Gold, 1995, Individual, FIFA, 100, Polone d'Argento, 2002, FIFA Fifth Pro World 11 nominee, 2010, UEFA Team of the Year nominees, 2003, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, Golden Foot Award, 2011, a Euro OE loyalty and critiques a Euro 2013, style of play, Zanetti earned the nickname El Tractor for his stamina and tireless runs up and down the wings to aid both attack and defense. He was known amongst his teammates for consistency and fitness regime, which he has credited with prolonging his career. During his last few seasons he started in over 30 games despite being in his late 30s. As captain, he was well respected by both fans and the opposition for his calm demeanor and conduct. In his entire 22-year career, he only received two red cards. Personal Life On December 23, 1999, Zanetti married his longtime girlfriend Paula de la Fuente, the daughter of a university lecturer. They met when he was 19 and he was 14 and dated for seven years prior to their marriage. They live near Lake Como, and they also own a restaurant called El Gaucho in Milan in the Navigli district, a popular tourist area. Paula currently works as a photographer. The couple have a daughter Sol and two sons, Ignacio and Tormas. Zanetti is a devout Catholic. Upon the 2013 election of fellow Argentine Pope Francis, Zanetti was invited to the Vatican for an audience with him. Zanetti is a close friend of Dutch footballer Wesley Snyder, whom he inspired to convert to Catholicism. Zanetti's elder brother Sergio is a former football defender. Javier Zanetti is not related to Cristiano Zanetti, an Italian who played alongside him for five seasons at Inter. In 2007, Zanetti collaborated with Italian singer Minor in a Spanish cover of the song Parole Parole, found in the album Today VA. Charity Work Zanetti is FIFA ambassador for the SOS Children's Villages project in Argentina, and has declared his support for the Mexican Zapatista rebels. Fundesa Cubed NPUPI Zanetti has also shown social conscience when in response to Argentina's economic crisis of 2001, which threw millions of people into poverty. Zanetti, with his wife Paula, created the Fundesa Cubed NPUPI in Argentina for the social integration of poor children. The aim of the organization is to help children who are left impoverished by the country's economic crisis by giving them educational opportunities, as well as taking care of their nutritional requirements. He explained, Leonid Di Petrero, Zanetti, along with his compatriot and current teammate at Inter Esteban Cambiasso, founded this charity association to help coach young children with social isolation problems and motor coordination difficulties. Zanetti said that this spirit lies at the base of all of Inter's initiatives for youngsters. References External links, official website, 
profile at Futbol Punto with maps and graphs, Javier Zanetti profile al bdfa.com.ar, Javier Zanetti profile, detailed club and national team statistics, honours and timeline, player profile at Inter Milan's official website a Euro Interit, Javier Zanetti's international profile a Euro AFA, official site of the PUPI Foundation a Euro Fundacion founded by Javier and Paula Zanetti.